Linda. Welcome to a new vlog. It's been a while since I made a vlog. I just haven't been very motivated to do videos and video editing and I kind of ran out of memory on my SD card. So, so it's been a while. Uh, but I wanted to make a new vlog because I wanted to share with you a new friend we got. Here he is. His name is Benny. He's a chocolate mini poodle. He likes biting because he's a puppy. We got him a couple weeks ago at eight weeks old and now he is 10 and a half weeks old he likes biting he likes peeing in the house or working on that we've had right now is accident free day and hopefully it will be accident free day um his name is benny because i thought it would be cute to be like benny and belinda and my brother's name also starts with a b so here he is he does not like looking at the camera he is not an Instagram influencer dog yet. It's been a challenge. I've been having the puppy blues as well. Um, I wanted a dog for pretty much my whole life and then I thought it was time to finally get one because I have some time and I have saved up some money and um, my dad just retired and my aunt is retired. We all live together so I thought it would be nice to have a little friend at home uh, and also just to have a companion when no one's around, I guess. It definitely makes it feel less lonely being home when no one's around and having them here. But I think the hard part is just like having to be home constantly and watching him constantly when he's not in his kennel. And then just things like that uh, can be frustrating and just like a big life change. Because before I was a very, I am still very, I'm a very independent person and I do have friends and family that are important to me that I see and do things with, but I feel like my life really revolved around me and what I wanted to do and I did what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it for however long I want to do it. But now I have this puppy and he needs to be watched all the time and he needs to go out all the time and he'll go out and just eat grass instead of bodying like he's supposed to and just bites me all day and bites my clothes all day and it was very frustrating <laughs> even though he's cute like look at him look at him he does not like looking at the camera ah! look at you you're so cute except you bite me stop biting me he's hard to see because he's brown he also has droopy eyes, which we both have kind of droopy eyes, which I thought was cute. Um, yeah. Overall, I mean, he is a pretty sweet dog. He really likes meeting people. We took him to the vet and he got vaccinated and he like didn't care at all because he was too busy eating the cheese they gave him. And he doesn't cry so much in his crate anymore. At least he doesn't cry overnight. Uh, my dad has been taking the overnight shift, which has been very nice for me because I get to sleep in and my dad also takes him out in the early morning um, My dad retired this year and that's kind of why I wanted to get a dog was like to have company for him and Even though he probably does not want company because he's not even home all the time He's trying to find home improvement projects for people to help with uh, but he really likes my dad and my mom has come around to liking him too. She took him out the other day. My aunt is kind of coming around to helping with him. But it's been a lot. It's been a hard couple of weeks. It's been a very long couple of weeks. I've been teaching him commands in Lao because that's what my family speaks. And he knows a couple of things. He knows how to sit. He knows his name. He knows how to stand or like jump up. I've been working on lay down, but it's not really it hasn't really clicked yet with the food it works if i if i move the food in the right way but he has not figured out how to lay down yet just on command and we're going to be doing puppy classes that start this week which i'm really looking forward to because i think it'll help everyone says it helps just having that community of people who are also in the same situation of having a new puppy and it can also help with i mean building your confidence building your puppy con puppy's confidence and getting him to stop biting because it'll be around other dogs and that can can help and i think it'll be nice for his socialization i've been also having friends come over to visit which has been good 
it's really helpful with my puppy blues because I'm stuck home most of the day with him and yes that has been the experience of having a new puppy Benny Nang yes good boy Nang Yun Yun Do something. Look. This camera shot. 